What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing on a game called Bus Simulator on the Xbox Series X. It was a game which was released on the Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Now I previously played this game on the PS4 and today we're playing on the Series X so hopefully we'll see some improvements to the things like performance and things like that. But we're just going to start off by doing the tutorial and we're going to crack in here with creating uh, a company. So we're going to call it Ellipse Transport. You might not be able to see me type in this part here because it is opened in a separate box, but there you go, Ellipse Transport. So sandbox mode isn't an option that we can switch at the moment, so that is off. Enable bankruptcy is on. Trip mode is simplified for the time being. We're going to press Y to create. It'll be a triangle on the PS4. So there we go. So we're now joining our company. And the game is now loading. So just to get started here, it does give us some options in terms of our uniform. I think we'll just have a nice shirt and tie. And yeah, blue shirt, black trousers works for me. We'll press finish. And just we'll crack on with this now. So it's asking us, do we want to play the tutorial? And yes, we're going to do that now. We're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, hello. Over here. I'm glad to see you again. I hope the traffic wasn't too nasty. Anyway, look at this sweet Mercedes Citaro K. It's straight off the lot over in Sunny Springs. Of course, it's a smaller model, but I'm sure everyone in town will be hopping onto this bus and our little project in no time. So yeah, I just thought I'd take a look at the uh, bus as we walk around. As you can see, the graphics on this game are pretty decent. I mean, they're not amazing, but come on. I mean, this is a game which is... Uh, maybe like three or four years old now and when I played this on the PS4 I did think the graphics look good but it does seem to look better here today playing on the Series X but anyway we'll crack on with this so we'll get the doors open and we'll come round and we'll just get on board here great I'll just take a seat over there while you make yourself comfortable in the driver's seat there we go, so first things th first, it's going to tell us to switch to the third person mode with a click down on the left stick, just like that. So that gives us a sort of exterior view if we want to switch to that. Take your time to familiarize yourself with the controls. Don't forget to close the doors, and remember to turn on the lights. So there's a couple of different ways we can close the doors, and the easiest way to do that is just to press X. Uh, we'll activate cockpit zoom by going inward here and we will switch on the lights. I'm also going to switch on these three lights, which is the uh, passenger lights, cockpit light and the ticketing machine lights. And then we'll fire up the engine. I've probably done that in the wrong order to be fair. But anyway, there we go. We'll open the action menu as well and then close that because that's just part of the tutorial. Are you ready to bring public transport back to Seaside Valley? Great! Then release the parking brake and let's head for the exit. She's going to sit there and basically watch over us. So we'll release the parking brake, which is a down press on the D-pad. Then it's just a pull of the trigger to get going. Oh, before I forget, I've got a little surprise for you. Just follow the route on the GPS. The traffic does tend to give way to you, which is really good. You see, my predecessor wasn't a fan of public transport, which is why they shut it down in the first place. In Sunny Springs, where I used to work, we collaborated closely with the local bus company, which improved the satisfaction of our residents significantly. Great, so another thing that we just did there, switched on the speed limiter, which just Protects us from getting speed speed tickets, basically. A little bit like Mafia 2. <laughs> basically, what, what we're going to do here is just follow the route that she's laid out on the map for us. Another red light here. So yeah, I like the feel of this game. I like the, I like the driving, I like the mirror. Um, there's quite a few different things that you can sort of fiddle with, but for now we're just going to crack on with the tutorial. Nice bit of uh, power on this bus to be fair, it does accelerate oh, quite nicely. The first stop is coming up. I hope you remember your training because I've invited a couple of people along on our maiden voyage. Just park close enough to the curb and within the markings. Oh, and don't forget to use the turn signal. So 
So we'll keep applying our indicators as we... Oh, wow, we swung a bit right, wide there. Oh, well, we're going to um, get in on our first stop here. Open the doors. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Miss Tannhauser. Glad you could make it. Hello, Mira. Thank you for inviting me. Hey, Sam. How's your daughter? Thanks, Mira. She's been really busy lately. Oh, she's rather lively, isn't she? Glad to have you here. Everybody, please take a seat. We'll be departing shortly. Now, this is the hard part. Do you see that clock? Do you think you can make it to the next stop in time? I'm so glad so many people have turned up just for this little test drive. They really seem pleased with the prospect of once again having a working public transportation network. Okay, so we're making good progress here, guys. We're literally uh, plowing along. You do get marked on things like your driving and things like that, using indicators and hitting bumps in the road and stuff like that. So I quite like this game. I'm looking forward to doing a few missions on this as well. Um, somebody's got the music blaring in the car there but it's little touches like that that I really like there's all sorts of other like random events that happen and um, it's just a nice little touch really for, for a sim game okay so we're coming up on our second stop it's going stop. pretty well so far isn't it the next stop is right over there Aubrey and I moved here a while back. We found a great apartment just up that street, and we've really been enjoying the neighborhood. There are a couple of great restaurants around here. <laughs> Speak of the devil. May I introduce you to my fiance? Hey, honey. The neighbors asked if they could borrow our lawnmower. Sure. Send them my regards. Looks like we're good to go again. Oh, wait. Someone's blocking the door. You'll have to tell them to move so we can close the door and get going. Okay, so when you've got somebody blocking the door, you literally have to go into this passenger mirror and then you can uh, press on them, tell them to get out of the way basically. And then we can now close the doors. I think we've got them all now. Did you know that this bus has a Bluetech diesel engine? It has an output of 210 kilowatts. I did a lot of research before we decided on this model. We're just changing lane because we're going to do a right up here. As I say, for the most part, cars do have a tendency to just let you through, which is a nice touch. Um, it can be very frustrating on these games when the AI doesn't work. I really love to walk this promenade in the summer. You always have a light breeze, and the trees offer some shade, and the river's close by if it gets too hot. Nice train in the background there as well. Through on the green light. Oh, we're making pretty good progress here, guys, in this tutorial. Just be wary of this van in front slowing down. Where are you going? Oh, he's going to the left. Okay, cool. Yeah, as I say, guys, I'm enjoying this game so far. You kind of build up your business, you build up your routes, you build up your bus fleet, you build up... Uh, employees ah she's on the phone might get a bit, bit, bit of peace for a moment right let's just be wary of what this guy's doing in front so yeah nice modeling as well nice modeling on the um the buses and official as well got the licenses for mercedes and a couple of other companies as well, so yeah, good work, good work by the developer. There's a new game coming out as well, Bus Simulator 21's coming out on the 7th of September 2021. Our next stop is over there. Oh, sorry, I'm just super excited. Hello, a ticket please. Oh, this is just a test drive of sorts. But wait, it would actually be a nice opportunity to make sure the ticketing machine is working properly, wouldn't it? Okay, so we're just going to press on the ticket machine and this guy would like a single ticket. Hey, I didn't think you'd show up. <laughs> hey, Mira. Yeah, 
I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Professor Zellerman, didn't expect to see you here. As if I'd missed this opportunity? My fiancé already sold our car in anticipation of the return of the buses. What? Really? Then let's hope this venture is a success. Have a nice day. So I just gave him the ticket there and um... The Lido is a really great place for a bit of relaxing leisure time. There are nice rest areas, and for a reasonable fee you can get a wonderful massage. Oh, there are even a couple of people I don't know here. Seems word has gotten around. Yeah, so we hit a pothole there that we were charged for, and also... Um, when we did the tickets as well, sorry guys, I just wanted to say the guys uh, wanted change, so you have to do that as well. Um, it tells you how much change to give, and it counts down as you give the change, but it's just another little touch, um, which I quite like, quite like this game. There's quite a few options here on the dashboard, things that work, um, different options. So yeah, there's a ton of different stuff, there's a parking brake down here as well. So we can use that. Um, you can operate using the down on the D-pad as well. But yeah, I mean the steering feels quite good. All the controls tend to work fairly well, I think. Um, the buttons are in the right places. The indicators um, are on the paddles. So that's similar to other games, um, such as on the road. It also uses the paddles there. So that just feels right to me. Just seems to work. Okay, so we're going straight... Ah, no, sorry, we're going left. Nearly went straight on there. Wow, okay. Let's keep this going. It's another thing to watch out for along these roads, um, especially in these sort of built-up areas where there's pedestrians. There's, there's a lot of speed bumps. To be careful to slow down for those. Careful of these zebra crossings as well. Or crosswalks, as they might be called, where you are. But yeah, generally speaking, through these junctions, you can just keep going. Watch out for traffic, but it's generally pretty easy to get through. Ah, oh, this is our terminal stop. All passengers must disembark the bus here. After that, to everybody who's still on board, I want to thank you for participating in this drive. With your support, we'll bring public transport back to Seaside Valley. I think that's everyone. The route to the garage is marked. We've been talking to some graphic designers to create some decals and wraps to customize our buses. Hopefully, we'll get some design submissions soon. Yeah, basically, so you can recolor the bus, you can add decals as you unlock them, you unlock new buses as well that you can buy, and yeah, I mean, generally speaking, um, it's yeah it's it's a decent game it's a lot of fun like i said they've put a lot of effort into the sim side of it despite it not being sort of on par with some of the bus simulators that you can get on the um pc uh like fern bus and things of that nature um but yeah i, I mean i'm having a good time looking forward to showing you guys a few missions as well as we get on nice touches like these cars parked here and the city feels alive at least it doesn't feel like it's dead doesn't feel like there's just a couple of vehicles here and there. There's actually, you know, a decent amount of traffic on the road. You can adjust that as well if you want to. I guess if you're having performance issues with the older consoles or, you know, on PC. Or if the AI does start acting up, at least you can turn it down. You know, you don't have to have, like, um, as many cars on the road as this if you don't want to. Because also, I mean, we're sat in traffic a little bit here, which, you know, can be a little bit tedious. I guess it is part of the... Um, Whoops, Daisy. I think we hit Everything's side there. Everything's all set up over there. Here we go. Take it easy over the curb. This is the depot. Oh no! Oh dear. That'll leave a scratch. Well, well, all in all, I think that was a rather successful maiden voyage. Wouldn't you agree? Congratulations. Get these lights switched off. And engine off. And we're going to exit now. Let me just collect my things. 
We've put some systems in place so you can start planning out routes and growing our little project. Let me show you real quick. Okay, I've written down a number of things we should try before we get you back out on the road. It's just to make sure the infrastructure is okay and ensure we can deliver a robust public transport system. First things first. City Hall wants us to run a pilot night line just to see how many people would use it. They'll finance an additional bus for you in return. I've already prepared a route for this and spread the word. Select the pre-existing route and drive it by night. Okay guys, so that's what we're going to do next time. We'll drive that route. We'll probably open up another couple of routes as well and maybe hire someone. But I just want to say thanks so much for coming through and checking out this video today. If you enjoyed it, please do leave me a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. It really means the world to me and to this channel and really helps us a lot. And I'll tell you what guys, we're going to do more of this next time round. Thanks so much for coming through and I'll catch you again soon.